There are some new details about the bizarre case of Natalia Grace, the Ukrainian orphan who was accused of posing as a child. We've covered this case on and yes. off. So to get everyone up to speed, Natalia, who has a rare genetic disorder, was thought to be six when she was adopted 14 years ago. But her adopted parents suspected that she was much older. They also claimed she was trying to harm them. So they abandoned her in an apartment and left her. They went to Canada. Now, the second season of an investigation discovery series about the story revealed that a DNA test shows that Natalia right now is close to 22, which means she was in fact a child when she was adopted. And at 12, she was abandoned by those adoptive parents who went to Canada. Uh, so take a look. Never once did I see any love. I feel like it was a mission of like boosting her ego type of thing. I feel like she just wanted people to be like, oh my goodness, like she's this amazing person. She just adopted a little girl from the Ukraine who has dwarfism and has all these different uh, medical issues and everything like that. You know, she's a great mom for one to help somebody, right? Stop. Okay, lots to talk about here, Tori. I know there's a, uh, some additional details too, right? Yeah, the, um, basically, the she now feels as if with this new adoptive parents, she's being held hostage, but the new adoptive parents are feeling like she's a danger to them now. So there's- Both could be true though. Maybe, right. I'm not making any sort of accusation here, but both could be I true. I mean, before we get there, Sammy, they left of 12, 15 year old in an apartment. Right. You are the biggest animal advocate I've ever met. Thank you. If we did a story where somebody left an animal in an apartment and went to a foreign country, you would rightfully be losing your mind. And I think we kind of glaze over that because it's such well, a like what a I weirdly salacious. The I said, right. Is there going to be any repercussions for these original adoptive parents? And because this is discovered through this investigative documentary as we know of right now there's nothing that nothing. is linked to well can't the police department get involved i mean i know you know you don't know that i don't answer. know either this is so crazy because i remember this i'm like is this the same story from dr phil right. all those years we ago, also interviewed ago? somebody on the show correct that had been studying this case <laughs> You're right. Yes, we did. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to go with the yes. yes. We yeah, yeah, yeah. We okay. sure did. We, we sure did. did. Yeah. Pete, we had dinner the other day. <laughs> uh, oddly enough, Buddha Judge was last <laughs> year. <laughs> Not the same one you're thinking, right. but it's just so crazy because it ends on a cliffhanger, right? What Tori said, the series not to, you know, spoiler alert. Yeah. After I said it, but <laughs> it ends on a cliffhanger. So it seems like there's going to be more to this story. It's going to continue. Yeah. I just don't get, I just, at some point I understand if she's had trauma from being Ukrainian uh, uh, person with dwarfism, I understand there's trauma, but both sets of parents are feeling like she's a danger. She feels like she's been completely abandoned. It's a lose-lose here. Sad. It's a Very sad case sad. all Very around. Sad. Well spoken wow. by her. Both of us. I was terrible. <laughs> I didn't terrible. even know what I was talking about. All right. Well, Blue we judge do. made an appearance into the conversation. <laughs> How do we, you get here? <laughs> we do have some more details about another true crime story involving Gypsy Rose Blanchard, who was just released from prison after serving seven years for conspiring to kill her mother. Gypsy, who is on the cover of People Magazine, by the way, talks about how her mother wanted her to have surgery on her neck or vocal cords, but that she was against the procedure. Gypsy was a victim of Munchausen syndrome by proxy, a disorder which makes a parent want to make their child sick in order to get attention. Now in a new Lifetime series starting tomorrow, Gypsy reveals some of what she went through. Watch. My mother controlled everything I did. I was forced to use a wheelchair. She started telling people that I had cancer. But none of it was true. There was also a lot of emotional and physical abuse. I started to feel like it was either her or me. Wow. I started, I said something earlier today and I told Al and Jeff that I started to see this case as a self-defense case. Um, I'm against anyone conspiring to kill anyone. She paid her dues seven years out of a 10 year sentence, but at self-defense is when it's you or nothing and you fear for your life and if she was, her teeth were taken out, her way to walk was removed, her hair was removed, her vocal cords were almost removed so she couldn't talk her about it. Her autonomy was her removed. Her autonomy was removed. I see her this Her autonomy as was removed. She conspired with another adult to stab her mother to death. I would call that autonomy. 
Maybe she felt that was her last resort. In, in some respects, instead I of could going see to that. the police, I don't think she knew there was another out. Now, I agree that she had to go to jail with you, Al. I completely agree she did something wrong. Did but extenuating circumstances here, and much like you brought up the Menendez brothers, like you had brought up, allegedly said they were tortured or uh, assaulted by their parents. There's got to be something here for a girl with no way out. But the, this is the difference. When we start talking about people with no way out, I think about sometimes we'll hear a horrifying story where somebody has chained a child to a radiator and they can't read and they cannot, they don't know how to communicate or use the restroom. Like that's one, but when you are, are savvy enough in this world to acquire a boyfriend, maintain and cultivate that relationship. That was after the fact though. But that she was able to conspire with this boyfriend to kill her mother. Right. That is not the same situation as a young person who was uh, withheld from society and did not know basic norms and maybe didn't even understand the language. I don't think anyone's so, trying to excuse it. I think Tori and I are just trying to understand and it. The I understand it. And the intent and I the do. malice of forethought is because of what happened to her. What There's, do you, what yeah, do what you, you think? think? I understand, I, I, like I said, I'm for the death penalty, so if someone did that to me, I could see why someone would do that. Doing that to my mother, I, I don't, I, I can't go inside of a mind of a psychopath, so I think there's something mentally wrong on both sides of this. My whole thing that I don't like is that she's becoming a celebrity now. Oh, on she Entertainment is a Tonight, she's she on is. every single thing. She's on People Magazine. This is not the end. She will be invited. This is a Lifetime movie coming out. There'll be more movies made about her. Celebrities will pose with her. She'll be going to things. In California, if you shoot somebody that comes in your house with your own gun, you go to prison because they broke into your house. But if you kill your mother in Hollywood, you get a story made about you and you get put on a pedestal. Hollywood has become this place where they take things that are broken and they bring them in with a hug, which is great, right? And if you have some sort of normalcy, they want to chop you down, tell you're broken, and then write a story about you coming back up. I don't like how Hollywood is wrapping their arms around this story, mm -hmm. okay, because there is some mental issues involved. And to put someone like this on a pedestal, even though she served her time Sick. and what she did is questionable, right. even though I said I kind of agree with, I don't like it. You I don't, don't like, like where Hollywood is going. I don't like that we're putting on our pedestal. I don't like that she's on a cover of a magazine because it inspires me, people to do other things. Let me, and just like school shootings, just like everybody else, if I do it the best, there's going to be a story about me and I don't care what happens. Let me challenge you on that because is it Hollywood? Because Hollywood's been doing this for years. Or is it consumerism? Because that's what sells. It's, so in reality, are we the complicit ones? Because absolutely would we, we be? Are. Right. Yeah, I totally and agree. I'm part of, I and mean, I'm guilty of it too. Yeah, so it's a cycle. I'm guilty we of it too, but together. Hollywood doesn't have to... Make a story about Glamorize every it. super tragedy. Elevate. Yes, right. they do. But yeah. they don't, man. They don't. They have to maximize their profit. This, these are people that do not care. Because Jeff, we are coming at it from a position of heart. I know. They're just I looking know. for money. But so, there's mentally ill people now. Yes. I, I don't want to get in, dive into this whole thing. But they have nothing going on, and all they want is a taste of fame. That's all they want. They're willing to shoot up schools not knowing the repercussions from it because they want a taste of that fame. They want a movie 20 years down the line after they're dead, even though we keep them alive in prison and feed them and let them have conjugal visits and letters and find a wife, by the way. That's how she got married because she was finding her husband in prison. And didn't her husband right. oddly look like Yeah, let's mom? take yes. a look at this. And it's just, I, I don't ahead, like yeah. where we're going with society. I want harsher punishments all around for for everything this person served her time but I don't like this lackadaisical hey this person had a thing or I, I have a problem and I cheat on my wife all the time I don't like this lackadaisical things but then if you say one thing 50 years ago you can't get a job anywhere but the problem but other things up. are excused this is it's so backwards I don't know where to put my feet anymore to walk forward or backwards because it's so I feel, insane I feel you on that brother yeah, yeah. I feel you it's on so that insane. elevate the strangest thing I think we elevate the strangest things. That's meaning society. Yeah. Maybe it's, it's if we feed each other, you know what I mean? Like it's like a snake. <laughs> what? If what he, is a if snake feed? Like it feeds when itself, you know what I mean? With the feed it shedding its skin. Ew, and they do eat it afterwards. Yeah, I think so. So do lizards. lizards. They don't eat it? Uh, yeah, That's not true. I think it's protein. Are you kidding me? Why do you find it on the floor? Honey, who is Sophie's lizard at school, eats its skin after it sheds. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so does Tori. <laughs>